Hey guys, we're doing electrolysis on a 350X tank today. I'm gonna put a bladder in it. I'll just give you a quick rundown of what you gotta do, okay, what you need. <clears throat> All right, you need a manual charger. Uh, you need it set at 12 volts, six amps. <clears throat> You're gonna need this Arm & Hammer bacon soda wash here. Or and that's uh, one tablespoon per gallon. <clears throat> you need an anode, piece of re-rod, whatever you got. <clears throat> I used hose for insulator, uh, top and bottom. Because you're going to need that, and I just put them on so it won't move. You want this all shiny, though, when you do this. And uh, you got the bladder here. Get it off eBay. I think it was 30 bucks or something. You need some acetone. Gallon, definitely. <clears throat> and uh, what you do here, this is your anode. This is your ground. Clean off the spot. We'll say this tank's painted right now. Clean off the spot, grind it off, whatever you do. Put your ground on there. Got your anode. See, I already got my bladder in here, but it's your anode. That bottom's grounded, side's grounded, because the tank's angled. It's got a hump in there, so I grounded that, too, and this filler neck. So you stick that down in there, and it's not touching any metal. Just the rubber is. See, the rubber's just touching metal. That's all you do for that part but before you do that you get a five gallon bucket water in it mix this up one tablespoon to a gallon and uh, fill your tank up you know cap off your pet cock whatever way you want put the whatever you want in there tape whatever something to hold against the water um, fill it up, put your anode in there, just like that, pretty positive there, what I did when I did it, I put some duct tape here just so, you know, it wouldn't really ground out itself, but, so what it's going to do, it's going to cook for a little while inside there, you're going to see if you got a really rusty tank, you're going to see rust floating up in here. And this anode you want to take out every, I don't know, every once in a while and just clean off. It's going to take overnight, definitely. Flush it out. Just repeat the steps again until all the rust inside looks like nice and black. Because all, all that rust inside will turn black. I mean, rinse it out with a hose, everything. And make sure everything's flushed out. If it ain't do it again you know but you want everything side black so you get that done it's all nice and dry um, you're ready for your bladder you know duct tape off pet cock down here and uh, I suggest the funnel because this stuff is it sticks real good you have to take grinder or something smooth pad take that off there <clears throat> okay, so get a funnel or something. So you got your acetone. Oh yeah, before you tape it up, you want to rinse it out with acetone real good. Dump it in, swish it around, dump it out in an old jug. It ain't no good after that. Dump it in, swish it around. I don't know. All depends on how bad it is uh, for to clean it out. What you got to use on this stuff. But I suggest to get a gallon. So once that's all flushed out, you got your pep cock all taped off. And grab this, open her up, dump it in. You ain't gonna need the whole thing, maybe half or quarter, all depends on what size tank you got. Dump that in, duct tape this up real nice. Make sure that's duct taped up. If you do have a pinhole somewheres, 
duct tape that up, okay? What you want to do is rotate your tank. Hold it for like 30 seconds, all the corners and angles. You want to make sure the tank's coated. After that, take off your tape there. Make sure you got it good and drained. Like, slope the tank towards the drain. Make sure everything's good and drained out. Drain it right back in here. You can reuse it again. <clears throat> so once you do that, make sure you got a clear passage going through there, okay? Because you don't want that clogged up. You have to drill it out or something stupid like that. So you got that? Let it dry. Once you can't smell the vapors coming out of here, you can smell this stuff fairly decent, you know. Once you can't smell the vapors coming out of there, it's ready for another coat. You can do it one more time. You know, same thing. Let it drain. Make sure everything's good. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then you're ready for filler or whatnot. But, uh, oh yeah, I suggest you pull. Like if you need a pin pull or pull your dents or whatever, pull your dents, you know, beforehand, before you do your bladder because... You don't want to be burning into that bladder or whatnot, stupid later on, you know. But uh, good luck, guys.